a big day for you. 200 appearances for Altrincham. It doesn't seem uh, too long since I think you made your debut against Vauxhall Motors in a Cheshire Senior Cup game, if I remember correctly. Uh, but 200 appearances, that's uh, quite an achievement. Uh, how do you feel about uh, that? I know, well, I feel old, to be honest. Like, is, uh, no, I can't believe it's it's gone quick. Four and a half years like to get to 200 games. But, um, no, I've, I've enjoyed every minute. Yeah, I said in the programme, like, it's a great club, great staff and everything. So, no, I, was, I was delighted. Last time we interviewed you, it was on your 200th appearance, and now it's 250, so they're clocking up fairly quickly. Oh, I was flying, I was saying before, I didn't even realise. I think the chairman come up and so I knew I do it, knew we were round about it, but um, yeah, no, it's it's flew here since the time I've been here. I think it was 200 this year, or was it last? Or was it last year? But no, as you say, it has it's come around very quick. Three hundred and fifty appearances a few, I'm sure, when you walked through the door, having uh, left Bradford City back in two thousand and eight, uh, you didn't expect that. No, it's been uh, it's been brilliant, really. Obviously, by the last two years, eighteen months, where I obviously didn't play anywhere near as much as as I wanted to, um, you know. And then I've found it a little bit difficult when I did get back into it. Probably underestimated how much uh, the surgery and and the the rehab involved takes it out of you, really. So. You know, I think last two to three months I've probably found my feet and I'm getting back to where I want to be. But um, no, it's been brilliant. Uh, felt like it being 350 games in the second half today. Uh, but no, I've, I've loved it here. It's 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 it is easily the best non non league club in definitely the northwest. I don't know about England, but definitely around this area, you wouldn't find a better club here, and that's why I've stayed for so long. Plenty of uh, great afternoons and, and evenings here at the Jay Davidson Stadium this season, but the fans are in brilliant voice again this afternoon. Yeah, as I say, repeat myself. It's I think since the momentum started building for the playoff push, it's been it's been outstanding. It's been as good as it's been for uh, for years. Obviously, we've had we've had the bad little spell, and now, and as I say, all credit to the gaffer and so of the the mood that is around the place now is. It's a credit to them for the, the difference they've made since they've come in. Um, but yeah, coming back to the fans, they've been outstanding and as I say, it'll be key moving forward in the playoffs. Then towards in the area, can he get shot away? Oh, a goal! What a goal! Hey, Sean I've loved it. It's obviously it's been up and down. Um, you can tell from the leagues we've been in, mm. but uh, no, it's just, I've just said it. So many times it is an unbelievable club. I think you can tell not just by me being here so long. You know Simon, and Jake, are not far behind me, and even the lads we've got now. You know we've kept together the majority of us for three seasons, which it doesn't happen a lot in non-league really. You know people move on and want to chase a little bit more money and mm. stuff, stuff like that. So yeah, it reflects you know unbelievably well on the club.
Little did Wrexham know at that point just how long they'd be spending in this league. No, they certainly we didn't. Oh, here's a chance now. Here's uh, Harrop. He's got, a, he's got a sight of goal. It's a decent strike, but it's uh, well wide of Tony Thompson's left-hand uh, post in the end. Josh Hancock. Greg Wilkinson finds James Laurie. And here's Scott Leather. Williams seeing plenty of the ball in the uh, early stages. It's almost like he's got a point to prove. <laughs> it's a decent effort by Denham. That's a really oh, that good effort a and a very, very good save. Good footwork by uh, Tony Thompson. He, I thought that was sailing in for a second. Great uh, effort uh, by Chris Denham. That was, that was very impressive, actually. He moved his feet well and, uh, and then hit it very, very quickly. Finds Hume. Cushion ball intercepted by Simon Richmond. Another player who's still playing with Bradford Park Avenue this season. I've seen him uh, play for Park Avenue against FC Halifax Town, a game in which Isaac Marriott scored. To oh, it's a brilliant piece of <laughs> turn by uh, Max Harrop, but eventually he's taken on one too many. And another nice piece of play by uh, Ben Pringle. So uh, Greg Young is playing left back, finds Ben Harrison, another really good player to see back here. That's a long, long ball. It's probably not too much on it for uh, for uh, Scott uh, Leather. <laughs> One or two people not happy with that uh, that ball. It was uh, asking uh, a little bit uh, too much. I have to say, so the look on Simon Richmond's face, he found it hilarious that Scott Leather had to. <laughs> Sprint 30 yards. Yeah. There's Chris Denham, edge of the area, plays it back to Williams. Good effort by Williams, just over the bar. So that's two decent efforts. I think that Sean Williams shot is typical of pretty much nearly every shot he's had for us. Oh, there's a chance for Densmore. He's a sh oh. He's killed one just wide of the post. I think Stuart Coburn was doing his best to let that one in, but it wasn't moving for it, but it was just wide, unfortunately. It, it was Coburn's poor clearance uh, that <laughs> set up Tensmore. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Andy White. Oh, this is good. Decent effort. Oh, Always going wide. wide. Stuart Coburn not forced into a save, but a nice move right to uh, left. So there'll be lots and lots of changes, I would imagine, for uh, the second third of this game. A reminder, it's still nil-nil. Handsome to Kozilo. Kozilo coming inside. Finds Pringle in space. Hume's got a chance here. It's a goal! Jordan Hume. 1-0. Jordan Hume. Ball's played through to him there. And he turned and poked it past uh, Stuart Coburn. So just before the end of the first uh, period, Jordan Hume scores the opening goal. And the ball was poked through by none other than Sean Densmore himself. The man himself gets an assist. So he's put his side up against it there a little bit. He has, yeah. <laughs> Backs to the wall. J just creating problems for, you, for, you, for your team there, Sean. Nice. Here's Hancock. This is good play by Altrincham. Finds Andy White points. in the right wing position. Skins Always in. round. Adam Griffin who's come on. Oh. That's a decent cross by uh, Andy White and Stuart Coburn was up to the challenge. Underarm. Arms Nicky Clee, just like the old days. Oh, Jordan. Oh, oh that's a great piece of goalkeeping. But, oh, in fact, he was offside, but a great piece of goalkeeping by uh, Stuart Coburn. Down at the feet of Jordan Hume, took it away from him on the one on one after Jordan had skipped past the defender. That was, uh, that was one of those fantasy sights. Jordan Hume and Stuart Coburn on the same pitch. 
is Costello. Hancock. Oh, it's a good shot. Oh, watched all the way by Coburn. Coburn Decent equal save. Equal to it. Equal to it. Coburn to Clee. He's looking for Clee every time. It's just lovely to be able to say those words, actually. Is that Dens coming back on? It is. With, with his, it took him this long to change his shirt. Oh, he had to change he had his to, shorts yeah, sure. as and well. And his socks. And his socks, yeah. yeah. That's why. And probably his boots as well, because he's a bit of a prima donna. I'm not quite sure who he's replaced. Maybe this is a, a ploy with, to play with 12. Oh, it's a good shot. Oh, good shot. Great save save from oh, Coburn, Coburn <laughs> played to the crowd now. <laughs> And Perry had a good game. Carl Perry played really well that day. And, and do you know where he's playing these days? I don't. Chase Town. Oh, gosh. He's yes. back at Chase Town. Oh, that's a lovely take by Ben Pringle. Great right wing cross. Pringle and Coburn. <laughs> watch and learn. Watch and learn. This is, uh, this is turning into the Stuart Coburn Appreciation Society here. Mm -hmm. it, yeah, it's been a better game, hasn't it? Yeah. Uh, the, the tempo's increased. And... Uh, Sends more nice little flick, finds JJ. Run by JJ. Is he going to get through here? Oh, that's got to be a foul, surely. Yes, well done, referee. Clee. Good ball in. Oh, that's, oh, that's a really good opportunity. First opportunity or second, first opportunity of this period for the Densmore 11. And it was Carl Rogers who drifted onto it. And he probably should have done a little bit better. Good turn of pace, knocks it long. Oops. Jake Cooper, oh, he's Cooper he's picked loses there by Reeves. Damian Reeves. Oh, he should have picked Dens in. If he'd gone over the top there, Dens would have Paddy Lacey, in. Michael Welch, Dan Lick finds Scott Leather. Good move by the legends. Here's Jake Malt. Reeves running along the back line there. That's a great ball to Jordan. Turning defence to attack. Jordan. Decent shot. Oh, and there's Coburn. Punched away by Coburn. One for, one for <laughs> Jonathan Moore, that one, I think. <laughs> that was beautifully done. The crowd appreciated it. The crowd loved that. So he must have made four or five decent saves in uh, this second, third. Oh, Campbell. Offside flag, and it's uh, it was a good challenge coming in there. Anyway, in that, just going back to that famous goal of uh, Michael Welch's two-two against Crawley. Crawley, yeah. Do you know who scored the other goal? I did know who scored the other goal because I looked at it the other day, but I can't remember. It wasn't Densmore. Was Sean Densmore. It? Yeah, thank you. Yes, probably the most forgotten goal in history. <laughs> Oh, that's a poor ball. Straight to uh, Pringle. Good shot. Oh, oh that's Coburn. a wonderful <laughs> save by Stuart Coburn. This is turning into the Coburn Masterclass. A great strike by Pringle. And uh, that's a, a block by Elliot uh, Osborne. Elliot Osborne's going to go in the book, I think, very shortly. That's two fouls. Outrageous. Uh, outrageous. Yeah, this has been really entertaining. Oh, uh, and is that Welsh having a go? Oh, Welsh. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. It was yeah. from inside the centre circle. Oh, lovely turn oh, by turn. Densmore here. Could this be the moment? Slips in Reeves. It's a great move. Oh, oh good Tony save by Thompson. Thompson. That was wonderful save. Chance is still on. Clee knocks it across. Intercepted by Pringle, but Scott Leather's done well. Knocks it back in. Headed clear by Jake Cooper. Pringle tidies up. But that was a wonderful piece of uh, play from Densmore and Reeves combining. And uh, if it wasn't for the alertness of Tony Thompson, we'd have had an equaliser there. Here's uh, Hancock. Oh, this, this is a, oh, a decent effort by Hancock, uh, which has just cleared the bar. Fair play uh, to uh, the legends. They've done really well, defended stoutly, and of course, a masterclass from. Oh, this, this is Thompson. interesting. JJ's through here. Oh, that's got to be a foul. Is it? Oh, it. Oh. Has he given the foul? Not too it's sure. It's fair to say the referee wasn't quite keeping up the play there. No, the referee's uh, about. 
about half a kilometre behind play there. No, he's just got off the tram at Altrincham Station. <laughs> he has. Densmore, Densmore with the free kick. Decent. Oh, there we go. It's in the back of the net. 1-1. One, one. Densmore's the man. All I'll say is he scored at the wrong end because uh, it would have been nicer if that had been at the golf road. There's still time, I suppose. Yeah. And what was Thompson thinking of? Yeah, he, he was very slow getting down there. Very lackadaisical. Words will need to be had. Working it across. Osborne finds Pringle. Pringle to Malt. Malt trying to work an opening. Eventually, he's won a corner. Anthony Danilik uh, mopping up there. Big favourite with Altrincham fans in his five years here. Oh dear, that's not the best. Uh, oh, oh, another Tobin good save. Again. Not the best clearance, but uh, another good save by Stuart Coburn. He's just done the fist pump. I trust that Ulti TV, Mr. Bennett, has, has captured that for posterity. Oh, he's missed it. Oh, we'll have to get another one. <laughs> oh, great ball great, from Pringle. A to brilliant Hume. ball by Pringle. Perfect. Here's Hume. Oh, oh Connor Hanson, brilliant save again from Coburn. So, Sander, Saunders, Russell Saunders. Oh, yes, of course, yeah. <laughs> See, Stuart Coburn's so good that even when he's not here, you still think it's him. Well, was a good save as well. Well struck by uh, Connor Hampson. Still Altrincham 1, Densmore 11 1. Jordan Hume for Altrincham. Sean Densmore with a free kick for the Densmore 11. Sean Densmore with an assist for Jordan Hume's goal. It's a bizarre afternoon. Laurie, Sean Williams, here's Greg Wilkinson, is there a winner here for, for the legends, here's Williams, it's pulled across and Greg Young might have done better there, it's a really good opportunity. I wonder who would take the penalty if the legends got a penalty, well, do you think it might be well, number two it, Sean Densmore? He took a few for us didn't he? He did. And had a reasonably good record. Oh, did Campbell nicely. Down to back. Dredge. Oh, Dredge with a volley. Always oh, going wide there, not troubling. Uh, and Dredge is signalling that he may, that may be his last contribution to the game. Good stuff. That's, oh, this is good. Here's Denham. Nice ball back to Laurie. Is there a shooting opportunity here? Comes across to Griffin. It's a decent strike by Adam Griffin. From just about the position he scored that sensational goal against Eastleigh back in September 2014, I think it was. Yes, yes, that's right. And now, leaving the field, the man himself. A, rouse, a rousing reception for Sean Densmore. <laughs> The crowd. crowd rise as one, home fans and away fans. This game not segregated today. <laughs> so Sean has, uh, has uh, played his last in this particular game. Ball in the ulti penalty area as Hansen brings it out. A dummy by Marriott. Pringle now in the centre circle, striding forward. Plays it for Hume. Linesman's flag stays down this time. Hume in the penalty area, does what he thought was um, make space, shapes his body, looks to put it in the corner, but Saunders was equal to it. And that is that a very enjoyable afternoon here at the Jay Davison Stadium.
Well, I think it's got to go against the shore. He's a deserves it 100%. Thanks very much. Harvey Nichols, the man of the match, goes to Mr. Sean Zensmore. Fantastic day. Um, get your family here. Just had a word with Peter. He's still a bit miserable. Don't want to talk, but he's, 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 he's okay. But yeah, it's gone. It's gone really well. Yeah, no, it's been a brilliant day, as I say. Thank everyone for coming, and you know the lads, the lads, all the lads who've turned out to play. Obviously, all my family here, having everyone. Very rarely that I get many of them coming to see me now. So to have a, a coach load's been, been brilliant. So yeah, thanks for everyone. John and all the board have done, uh, especially this last few weeks, to get everything sorted. Uh, Fozzie sorting the kits with John. Uh, Fozzie and John, the kit man today, have had their hands full with so many lads. Different body shapes, shall we say. Um, so, yeah, being brilliant. Um, and, yeah, thanks for everyone who's been involved. Uh, it's the big match coming up. We've got a score prediction. Yeah. I actually fancy her, so I'm regretting saying it now. Uh, but, yeah... This is a big one, isn't it? But yeah, I think difference now we've got where we can make a few changes up front Liverpool. Now we've never been able to do that the last two or three years, so yeah, it should be a good game. Looking forward to it. You said family's been here, coach though, is fantastic to come over from Liverpool, but brilliant to see so many former Ulti players here today. Yeah, as I say, they've all come out the way for me. Sunday's not a great day for everybody, uh, but given that so many lads played yesterday, it's the only day I could really do it. So. I appreciate um, them all coming. Uh, some of them look pretty good to be fair still. Max Arab, Nicky Cleish, Jimmy made some cracking saves, so it was, uh, yeah, it was a good game in the end. So it was Oxygen 1, Densmore 11 uh, 1, and you got the goal. Yeah, I want you to get Tony on camera because he's saying he let it go in, but there's not a chance. Tefo, he's took a gamble with a big step and uh, yeah, took a bit of a bounce in front of him. Like. He's got his feet run there, hasn't he? Yeah, I reckon so, but he'll pretend he let, he let me score. Congratulations, fantastic servant to the club. 14 years, let's hope we've got one or two more left in you. Yes, thanks, Blake. We have two Ultrium legends with us today on a day when we're celebrating uh, Sean Densmore's uh, testimonial. It's been a superb day at uh, the J. Davidson Stadium. It finished Ultrium 1, Densmore 11, 1, and we've got Scott Leather and Nicky Clee. So, first of all, Scott, it's, it's been a great day and, and fantastic to see so many people who uh, have, have been brilliant for Altrincham Football Club over the last 10 or 15 years. Yeah, it's great. I think you can see how many people have come today, how much um, they think of Dens. Uh, he's a top lad, been a top player, top captain. Um, and we've had a good day and obviously having a good drink now, so it's all good. Yeah, I think he's very, very highly regarded at Altrincham uh, Football Club and 14 years at, at one club is, is a phenomenal achievement, but he's a really good guy. 
Yeah, um, like I say, the amount of people that have come and the amount of people that have stayed after, it's it's amazing. Uh, it's, like everything about him is a is a family family man. He's got loads of friends. He's got in football. He's got loads of friends, and it's it's just great occasion, and he's, he deserves it. I've and had a few sherbets. <laughs> That's good. And Nicky, um, little while since you've been back to Altrincham uh, Football Club, you have played here for Bradford Park Avenue in 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 recent uh, times. But uh, a, a, a lovely occasion and a few silky skills skills out there this afternoon. Yeah, I had to try a little bit today. Um, yeah, it's it's um, been it's been it's been good. It's been really good. It's been really good today. Um, like I said, the, the just getting the guys back together. The last ten years, like I think I was here for eight nine years in in total, and it's just like you see you see faces you don't even realise you you haven't been with, and it's um, it's been a really really good day. And you've brought your family with you today. Vicky's Vicky's here, which is, which is great to see, and. That's nice because if people come back to Altrincham Football Club, that means that it's a place that they want to come back to. Yeah, to be fair, my the best time my career has been here, uh, eight, no, like I say, eight, nine, ten years. Uh, I remember carrying Oliver out on this pitch when he was like five weeks old. Uh, the twins, when they were five weeks old, out on that pitch. Um, and like I say, look in there, it's just got you've just got families. Uh, it's buzzing in there. The family, the family atmosphere around this place is really, really good. And. You clearly towards the latter end of your uh, your career. Don't know what you mean. Your career, I've got one no. more left. I've and always I sp- got one more left. And spoke I spoke to you after the Bradford Park Avenue uh, Halifax uh, game just before we signed Isaac Marriott actually on the on the Tuesday. What a player, by the way. Yeah, he's he's he's, he's done great for us. And and you, t- you you told me in the bar that night that he was a good player because he, he did look, did look a really good good player, but. Um, Obviously, you've got, not got too long left, but I think you described yourself uh, or Vicky as a, a football widow. And are you, are you going to finish that one soon? No comment. <laughs> <laughs> he played against us yesterday. He absolutely tore it up. He was chopping people left, right. Well, I don't know how you do it. Mate. Is a, a, I, hang on, can I speak about Stu Coburn as well? Yeah, of course you can. No, I, I want no, to. How the hell? How is no. he doing that? He should catch them. How old is he now? He Fif- should, 52. He should be catching 47, them. according to Stuart. 47. He should be catching them. He Just used to catch friend. them. He mm. used to catch them. And sign them. And kick them away. I'm surprised he didn't sign them today. And to is, is, uh, Stuart, is fantastic goalkeeper. <laughs> Scott, we'll sit with you. Stuart, fantastic I'll goalkeeper. But, funnily enough, I've always had the theory that if, if he'd been stronger in terms of his dis- distribution, he would have played at a much higher level because in terms of his goalkeeping skills, he, w- he was much higher than the level he played. I think you look at the level of like leagues now and you cannot toe bung a goal kick um, to, play <laughs> <laughs> to, play that le- to play at that level. If you could take a goal kick in his box now, he'd be, he'd be flying. Pass it to someone three yards away. Chip it and vo- volley it. We, we had kick-off today and I was just telling him, just pass it back, straight back to Stu and everyone get on the pitch <laughs> and see what he does. He didn't, he didn't hit one off the floor today. Yeah. I was looking forward to it. In terms of you, uh, Scott, your dad's here today, which is great. Again, uh, I've just been, been chatting to him and he says he really enjoys coming back to, to, to Altrincham Football Club and you know, you, you had a really good spell here. Yeah. I, I, uh, what? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> no, like, like Nicky says, I think like, it's such a great family atmosphere here. My dad comes back and like he knows more people than me. Like he's speaking to everyone, um, and it's just a great atmosphere. And I hope that continues for the club. And you've got uh, certainly a bit longer in your career left than than, than uh, Nicky. So things have so been watching him yesterday. I'm not so sure. Things are going pretty well for you at uh, at Chorley. Uh, yeah, we're in the playoffs at the minute. Um, Hoping to get promoted. I think maybe we need a couple more wins out of seven to, to get in the playoffs. Um, but yeah, we've obviously got promoted through the playoffs with Altrincham. I've done it before with Chorley. So hopefully we'll do that again. And of course, a, a famous uh, FA Cup run uh, last year. What what an experience that was. Yeah, it was amazing. I think it's probably... Through, like through COVID, I think like lots of people were like there's not much to do and people are down. I think it really lifts the spirits of everyone, and it was a great experience for us as well. And it probably like topped off our year. You know what I mean? So. And and Nicky, looking back at your, your career at Old yeah, one of the games that I thought was an outstanding performance, one of the best in the in the last ten or fifteen years, and it ended up in a, not, not tragedy, but we ended up getting knocked out of the cup was against Burton Albion. When we drew 3-3 at Burton Albion, some of the football we played 
that day was absolutely top draw. And I know Lee Sinnott rated that as possibly the best match under his tenure. Yeah, I think, um, like I said, we'd, I think they un really underestimated us that day. And we, we came out, didn't we? we came out flying. Um, we, we, like I said, we scored, I think we scored two goals early, early on. Carl Rogers scored twice. Yeah. Two assists, two great assists. Can't remember who from. Not sure. Do you, do you know? Was there one syllable in the surname? I can't remember. <laughs> it's been a while. It's been a while. <laughs> but yeah, no, like, like that day, it's like, and then you look at Duncan. Duncan's gone and, and created the third. Um, it's just It was just gutting that when they scored that, that last goal, and obviously the replay went the wrong way, but I think the replay showed how much, ris how much is it not, not disrespect they showed as the first time, but they didn't give payers any respect. They came here the second time, they paid us respect and they beat us. And Kyle Rogers, who scored two goals that day, that was probably his, his best game for Altering Football Club. Lovely to see him back here today. Yeah, I, I haven't seen Bruno for ages. Um, and it, like I say, it's really, really good to see him back. Um, he, he's, he's one of them one of them guys. He's quiet, gets along with his job. And I, I speak, like, obviously, I've, I've played with Luke for probably the last 10 years at different clubs constantly. And he, he always mentions Bruno as the one. He just made his life easier. He made, he made the defence's life easy. You'll know that. Bruno just sit, he just sits there, wins everything, breaks everything up, and just. I wish you were more though, because I look like this. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's not Bruno's fault, mate. No, no. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, he's top guy, really, really good player as well. Let's leave the last word for uh, Scott. Scott, um, you're you're a local lad, so you you'd been to see Altrincham before before you came here as a player, and you still live uh, locally. So Altrincham Football Club's a club that you know a lot about, and. There's a, there's a lot of history and links between Scott Leather and Altrincham Football Club. Yeah, I used to come and watch them as a kid. My old man's watched them, my granddad's watched them. Um, and it's, it's good to see them doing really well. They're in the, obviously, Conference National now. Um, but I can I can see them going up and up the leagues. Uh, I know there's, like, developments going on. And, obviously, it's like since I've been back, um, come back today, um, it's just developed as a club. Um, so, hopefully, they keep going in the right direction. And uh, get up them leagues. So there we have it. The old. Right. Go on. Can, I, can I just say some? Um, it's your last word. Uh, my last word. I've just had a nice chat with uh, Peter Densmore in the bar. He told me that his favourite player was me, so not his son. So I'm <laughs> so, right, Sean. He said I was the best player because I was a lefty. So good lad. Yeah, he would. Uh, <laughs> he would have liked you because yeah. you weren't dissimilar in terms of the way that you played. And That's he was, what he said. Basically, he was all left uh, left peg and more or less. He, he wishes he had a son like me. He said. <laughs> 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 and on that bombshell, yeah. <laughs> we'll say thank you very much my, my <laughs> to the legends. That is Nicky Clee and Scott Leather. Thank you. Cheers. Brilliant. We've had a great day at Altrincham Football Club today. Uh, Sean Densmore's testimonial. And we're talking to two players who've both played more games than Sean Densmore <laughs> for Altrincham <laughs> Football Club. Jake Maltz, uh, 447. Stuart Coburn, 672? Well, 689, Six, right? 689, <laughs> there you go. Fantastic. So here they are, two Altrincham legends. But we're here today to celebrate another Altrincham legend, and it's been a brilliant day uh, for Sean. Yeah, 100%. Obviously, great turnout. Uh, it's great seeing the lads, obviously, we've played with over the years, some some very, very good players. Uh, obviously, Nicky come in there, <laughs> frightening. Obviously, still playing. You can see he's still got it. Stewie, obviously, I think, <laughs> unbelievable saves. And, yeah, what a great day for Sean. It obviously, 100% deserves it. Not only, obviously, an ulti legend, what a, what a great guy. And, you know, 14 years at one football club is some going. And, yeah, 100% deserves the day. And, Stuart, contentious decision for man of the match today. <laughs> You've got to give it Sean, haven't you? Because it's his day, but um, I was man of the match, Brian. <laughs> End of, I'm not going to argue with you. Just rolling back the years. I was a bit disappointed a few times because Jake was saying to me, he says, uh, used to hold them, uh, which I did. Yeah, I just had to push them away now because I, I knew the cameras were on me and that, Bri. So there was one young lad who had a shot where you asked me to sign the ball, didn't you, yeah, for him? Yeah, nice touch, and yeah. He, when, I, when I said to him, he just looked right through me because he didn't have a clue what we was going on about. So, but that's the young kids for you, isn't it, Bri? We did say on commentary that one of them was for the photographer, Jonathan Moore. It was a superb uh, dive and I think you were looking straight at Jonathan as, as you made the save. I think I fell over, Bri, to be honest. It was, uh, <laughs> someone tied my laces together. Yeah, it's, uh, you've got to forget I'm nearly 47. So, but the older you get, the better you get, don't you? That's what they say. So. 
and as you say, great, great turnout. And Sean has been a fantastic servant to Altrincham uh, Football Club. 14 seasons for one club in this day and age. You don't come across that very often. No, it's amazing. Is I was, <coughs> excuse me, saying in the bar before, you don't get that nowadays because either lads don't get that longevity or like Jake's been here a long time as well. Um, lads will go elsewhere or the managers change and they go elsewhere. But Sean's done brilliantly and today's all about him. And it's, it's amazing. It's an amazing achievement to, to get 14 years at any club. He's, he's brilliant and he's, he fully deserves it, yeah. And Jake, you're not far behind uh, Sean in terms of, well, you're ahead of him in terms of appearances. You're not far behind him in terms of seasons. You've been an absolute stalwart at Fo Altrincham Football Club. And it's, it's been a fantastic journey the, the last 10 years you've been here. Yeah, obviously, well, um, it's an amazing football club. There's not many football clubs that you could ever say that. Like, say, Stewie's played, you know, 600 odd games and been here 16 years obviously Denzi 14 years Ringo obviously we forget about who was here for 11 12 years myself 10 years there's not many football clubs that I'll have you know four or five players that have played that many games for for one football club so testament to the the football club I, I, I think personally that people love love being here love the people around here love playing for the football club and I think that's the that's the heart of it really that people want to want to be here and play for the football club and I think that, that that's massive and brilliant to see so many uh, old faces, people who uh, you know really did a great job for Altrincham uh, Football Club, and they've come out in force uh, today. Pretty well, everybody who said they would turn up uh, for, for Sean has turned up today. Yeah, like you say, obviously some of the boys we played with over the years, you will say, obviously what what great lads. Obviously, you know, like the Leathers, Luca. Uh, obviously, Nicky, you've got Bruno. Obviously, I forgot about. Obviously, we played again. Well, with Bruno, probably eight years or so ago now, and you know some unbelievable lads. Not only like you say on the pitch, we you know I think you get that special bond when you've won a few leagues together, or you've you know you've really competed together, and then obviously off the pitch, you really when you see him, you realise what what great lads they are when you've not seen him for so long. So yeah, what a, what a great day to catch up with with everybody that we've we've not seen for a long time. And and Stuart, I mean just thinking about some of the names that were out there, you know, Paddy Lacey, Anthony yeah. Danalick, uh Adam Griffin, yeah, so, 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 some some great some great players and it just brings it back what, what we've been through over the last 10, 15, 20 years. As Jake was saying it's, it's great to see the boys you're in the changing rooms there. I know Jake was in like the home team dressing room, but if he'd have come in the other dressing room it, it was amazing because lads who I, I met Scotty last weekend on Sunday, and I said to Scotty, "How old do you know?" He's like 29. I still think of Scotty's being like 22, 23, because I'm a lot older than the boys. But you're seeing them all today, and if I could just come and turn up on a Saturday at one o'clock and go home at three o'clock and have the crack, it's amazing. That's what you miss more than anything is the camaraderie of all of the boys. And today was brilliant and like. Sean wasn't with us, like in the changing rooms, because he was in the home team changing rooms. But it, it was just brilliant seeing all the lads together again. And you start bringing memories back, and the crack that we had was, yeah, you, you can't replace that. A couple I didn't mention there, Chris Denham and Greg Young, who for some reason seems to have turned into, uh, just hugged the left touchline, didn't they, all game? Yeah, we, well, <laughs> yeah, we was like, we were saying Youngy, like at the end, I was like... How old are you? And he's like, he's like 40. Chris Denham, I said to him, he said, you look better now than when you played. And you can take that competitive edge away a little bit. But when we got out there, we all wanted to do our best, obviously, you know. But the lads, it was just nice being together and seeing everyone. We said we should do it every year, really. I know we can't, but it's just so nice for the fans as well to meet all the lads and everyone gets together and everyone just gets on again. It's brilliant, yeah. And Greg Young, he's, he's still playing competitive football. He's got a playoff next week against North Ferriby United for Rossington, Maine, Northern Counties East League First Division semi final playoff. Remarkable. Yeah, no, well, Youngy was always like that anyway. I'd like, I don't want to repeat, he was in the shower with me. I think he'd been in like a, had a 10 minute sunbed before. Um, he, he just, he looks like an Adonis. That's what he was like anyway. He was saying he, he was just, he was natural and tan, but no, he wasn't. He was, uh, he'd been on a sunbed. Yeah. 
So there we have it, two Altrium legends uh, giving their respects to another Altrium legend, Sean Densmore. Thanks very much, Jake Malt and Stuart Coburn. Cheers, Brian. Cheers, man. Really good. No That's problem. Really good. Sean Densmore, longest serving player at Altrincham Football Club, 13 uh, seasons, so you've got the, the most memories of the Jay Davidson Stadium. What's your favourite memory? Um, excluding the obvious of the Geisley game, uh, personally for me it was an a equaliser I scored last, last minute against Grimsby um, early on in my, in my career. Um, I think we were down to 10 men at the time. I was playing left wing back. Uh, I just remember, I think... Stewie got the ball, got rolled out to possibly Robbie Lawton or James Smith. Um, we worked it out wide to the right-hand side and then I just gambled on the back post. It got fizzed across the back post and uh, yeah, just managed to meet it with a diving header straight into the far corner. But I just remember we made a point after the game that it was a goal made in Liverpool. Uh, as I say, Robbie and, and James Smith were involved. But, you know, Grimsby were a massive club in the league at the time. And as I say, I think we were down to 10 men, so it was a great result for us. I think that was Grimsby's first uh, season as a non-league uh, club and, and one of their first games in the National League. And it was a great cross from James uh, Smith. Um, and I think that goal won uh, goal of the season. Yeah, I think, I think you're right now, thinking back. Um, yeah, as I say, Robbie worked it wide and he sort of drilled it. It was pretty drill cross rather than a floaty one. And yeah, it's just one of them. They just timed, timed the header. Not, not very good uh, attacking header, to be honest. I missed the sitter a couple of years ago, I remember. At home, but uh, yeah, no, that was a great one. And any last minute goal to either win or draw feels a million times better. Yeah, and I can't remember you scoring too many other headers at the Jay Davidson no, Stadium. Probably not, no, that's definitely the only one. <laughs>